If you're anybody at all in the specialty and fine food world, there's only one place to be tonight, September the 7th, and that's here, Fortnum and Mason's, that have been selling fabulous food on that very site for 303 years. And the reason for the excitement? Well, tonight is the 16th annual Great Taste Awards here at Fortnum's. Now, for the 2010 awards, more than 25% more people entered, a total of 6,027. And of those, 1,750 were given gold stars. Now that judging took 350 judges, 25 full days over summer. Of the 1,750 gold star awards, 100 won three gold stars. And each of those 100 three gold star winners are going to be here to be tasted by the lucky people who have been invited tonight on two floors of Fortnum's. In the meantime, the 100 was reduced to 40 and then 25. We're a small farm in Kent and we grow Kentish cobnuts. Um, we've been growing them for about 14 years. We have about 10,500 trees and we recently decided as well as selling our nuts in shell for the Christmas market that we could remove the shells and press them for oil. So we're now producing the first nut oil in the UK for a very long time. You use it in exactly the same way as you would use a top grade olive oil. It can be used in salad dressings, for drizzling on vegetables. I use it for grilling a lot uh, fish and chicken. They remain very succulent if they're grilled in cob nut oil. And it adds a really intensely delicious nutty flavour to anything that you, that you drizzle it on. The moments away from finding out who's done what, how do you feel? I'm just enjoying this evening. I'm delighted to have got this far. To have got three gold stars in the Great Taste Awards is fantastic. Um, it, it's a, such a well-respected, the Guild of Fine Foods so well-respected. The Great Taste Awards is the event of the year in my opinion. And to be here with three gold stars is fantastic. And now, in another part of this building, 13 judges from the worlds of food. Journalists, chefs, writers, all with the most perfect palettes, are judging which of those gold Great Taste Awards will be awarded Supreme Champion. Supreme Champion Great Taste Awards 2010. Talking of great British institutions, I'd like to invite one up on the stage now. Uh, he's been the man who set it all up in the first place. Old Father Time, the Grand Fromage of the Great Taste Awards, the one and only, let's hear it, Bob Farrand. Good evening, 007. Good evening. Good evening, good evening, good evening. And the warmest, warmest welcome to you all, to Fortnum and Mason, and the 2010 Great Taste Awards presentation. Thanks. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is my favourite, favourite evening of the year. The night when we, and I'm sure you all have, get to taste the very best food and drink. When we honour the very best food and drink producers. And the moment when one speciality food business is changed beyond its owner's wildest imagination. Eight companies are still in the running for the 2010 Supreme Champion. I'd like to welcome on the stage Mr. Ewan Ventners from Selfridges. The, uh, the points I've awarded this evening, three points to Lavastock Park for their buffalo fillet steak. Congratulations to Lavastock. Six points to the Wensleydale Dairy Products for the Charvel Blue Cheese. And my 10 points, and therefore the Supreme Champion of 2010 Great Taste Awards is... Just see what that does to the scoreboard, Nikolai. So we've now got Laverstock on 25, Hirschwood Farm 22, Bramley and Gage 22, Wensley Dale Dairy Products, Olives et al, Rieke Estate, they're still all in it. Who is the 2010 Supreme Champion, the winner of the Fortnum and Mason Trophy? And uh, the winner is... Hurstwood Farm for their virgin cold hey! press. Hey! Well done, Catherine. Up you come. The only cob nut oil produced in Britain, but I'm aware of. Well done to you. Congratulations. I can't it. Fantastic. Here you go, gentlemen. Right. 
Hey, Catherine, many congratulations. I know you just said earlier on it was just you were delighted to be here. But, uh, I mean, Shakespeare t wrote and talked about uh, Cobnut Oil, but really we haven't heard much about it since. I mean, what was your inspiration to even start pressing again? Mr. Dane, who owns Hurstwood Farm, is an engineer and a farmer, and he's always looking for new ways to do things with his produce. He uh, builds pianos, he grows nuts, and in every direction he's always trying to move forwards. And it's his vision. He's unfortunately not here tonight because he's in hospital not very well, but we've, we've, he let me take this product and run with it to see where I could get to, and here we are. And it, he started it, and I finished it off, so we've done it between us. I was delighted to be in the top eight, but to get this just unbelievable. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much, Catherine. Bravo. So now we know. The 2010 Great Taste Awards Supreme Champion is Hurstwood Farms Cobnut Oil. It was a unanimous decision, and some of the judges said they picked it from the first time they tasted it all those months ago. And now, well, best wishes to everyone who wants to enter the 2011 Great Taste Awards.